Hello, um, I've had a question from one of my subscribers on how I created these drum and bass breaks in Transfer Nerve. Now, um, I know, you see, I did that really quickly, and I know it's kind of, I've not followed all the rules, I didn't kind of, uh, kind of EQ and compress the kick and the snare differently, I didn't layer under breaks underneath, I literally put together some you know, very simple drum parts just because I was enjoying using Nerve um, and I was just like feeling drum and bass at the time so I put together you know, a, a few breaks. Um, so I'm going to show you how to do this, um, Tomic, uh, but what I'm going to ask is if anybody's like a, a true drum and bass producer out there, if you could put some comments in the video on all the things that... Um, you know, we should be doing in order to get these breaks sounding really tight and good. So things like layering up an amen underneath, maybe you know with a, a you know a, a you know, high pass filter on it. Um, maybe things like you know, so that would be like a, an amen that's been recycled. Um, you know, all the kind of EQ for your your kick and snare. So I know in in drum and bass the snare usually sort of hits around two hundred hertz. Um, and you, you need to be rolling off a fair bit of the sub bass to allow the um, the actual sub bass itself to kick through. Um, so I, I know this stuff that you um, you need to be doing to get like a really tight sounding break. Um, so anything that you can help this guy out and help me out as well because I, I started to enjoy writing a bit of drum and bass. Um, so I found a few um, kind of resources that you might want to use. So. The first one is Chase and Status Tutorial. So this is an old computer music one. Um, it's well worth watching it. They kind of, I mean, their break has ten different layers, so they're they're like really going for it. Um, there are also kind of um, there's if you go after this one as well. So Ice Core Tutorial. If I can spell tutorial. Okay, so this one, if you go to Mixpan Masterclasses and if you check out a few of the tutorials on here, so the Icicle one is good, the Chemist's one, and also, um, although it's is uh, is yeah, is doing drum step, but um, a lot of the principles are very similar, so it's well worth watching that one as well. Now, this guy, I don't know whether he's got permission from Computer Music, so uh, they may make him take it, it down at some point, so it's well worth watching it pretty quickly. Um, so that's good resource there. Um, I also had on KVR, I'll put this link in the video, um, if you check out this link, it's got a place to get some break beats. So to, to stick under your main break, you put like a, you, you kind of cut out all the all the bass, um, and you put like a, you know a cheap payment break underneath that's all been kind of sliced up, either in um, either in recycle or if you've got like Logic Nine, you can you can uh, kind of do you know like a find the transients and do slicing there and put it across to the XS twenty four. So um, that's a good resource, and there's another one out there as well. Um, what do we have? So this guy, um, if you go, I think it's page four or five, possibly page five. Um, so if you go to this guy's break piece, beats page, um, he's kind of pre-sliced a load of old funk grooves as well. So if you want to. Um, Grab these. Uh, now he does warn you that uh, then he's not entirely sure that they're royalty free, um, but if you're not releasing yet, that's not a problem anyway. Um, so it's going to be difficult for me to really explain. W one, I've got a bit of a lag because of the um, the screenium, you know, the core, rec the, the the recording tool. Um, plus, I'm not. In oops, I'm not exactly sure how I do this. It it just kind of comes out. Um, so. It's So normally I'm just kind of putting a standard and classic kind of kick snare combination, um, and then go in and just playing playing the hi hat. Um, actually, with my mouse it works quite well. Um, now be aware the drum kits that come with the demo version that most of these are not kind of meant for drum and bass. But yeah, you know, I think that's a good thing because you you get you'll get a unique sound if you're not using the the same sounds that everybody else is. You might need to use a few that underpin it, um, so that you're not so far off that kind of nobody kind of can relate to your tracks. Um, but 
let me this might be a disaster but let me show you how I do it um, as I say it might go a little bit wrong because we're on, on a bit of a lag here um, plus I might get nervous in the video but I'm, I'm gonna gonna give it a go um, so just stick it in record put this track on solo pick it yeah that, that kit's fine Okay, so that's good enough. It's 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 not brilliant, um, but you get the idea. So put in a very basic kick and snare, um, and then go after your your hi hats. Um, and one thing that works quite really well, if it you know, it's, it's very easy to actually just tap the menu that you your mouse. And if something's misplaced, just just get rid of it. It's that simple. Um, but the thing that makes all the difference is actually changing the volume. Um, so if you put it in with your mouse, you'll actually you'll get it at kind of a standard velocity all the way through. Um, and to give it a bit of life and to help it breathe, you need to change the velocity itself. Um, so that's uh, that would be a nerve. So what I thought would help you out is I've I've kind of put together a ton of these, well a few of these breaks anyway. So I'm going to give you these. Um, and what I've done is on some of them, I've done it only kick and snare. And on others, I've done it only hi hat. So what it means is you can drop the audio in of say only the hi hat, um, and you can practice getting your your kick and snare right, um, and then uh, or you could just you know, then kick uh, drop in the hi hat and and practice getting you you kind of um, you sorry yeah <laughs> sorry I'm being dumb. You you could basically you, you, you drop in one and then you practice the other. So. Um, now let me just show you um, so the idea would be for example in this instance you've got uh, this would be a hi-hat pattern so that's in audio that's what I've already recorded you just drop it into whichever sequence you're using um, and then I've just got like a sampler with some drum kits mapped So um, I just stick it in record, maybe just even just a single bar loop, two bar loop, um, and then I play it in by hand and make sure I've got some kind of quantizing going on. So I've got a little tiny bit of swing, but not too much. So if you're watching this and you're a drum and bass producer, perhaps you could tell me um, what kind of swing you apply. Do you apply any at all? Because I've seen different things. I've seen some people say, don't use swing um, in drum and bass because it's too fast. Um, but I know others put, like to put a little bit of swing in the hi-hats so if you could let me know what you do um, now when I play it in I tend to do something very simple like you know bunch bunch very very simple stuff um, then what it's quite good to do is get out your pencil tool and just start drawing stuff in um, and these little tiny grace notes these little you know extra little flourishes are the, are the things that make it make it um, sound a bit different and a bit more than just the standard so again there's, there's no real secret to it it's just stick your grid in 16ths drop some in if it doesn't sound any good mute it or delete it um, and the other thing worth doing I mean again I don't know which door you're using but play around with the velocity give you know a real drummer doesn't hit a constant velocity all the time if you want to add a bit of life and, and sort of breathe, you know, get your, your drums to breathe, then you need to start using kind of your velocity tools. Um, 
So, really, I'm not trying to be patronising about this, and I hope um, I hope this is this is cool for you. Um, so, I'll just play you something that was started to come together whilst I was doing this, um, and you can hear um, you know just as it as it starts to develop. So. just uh, started to build a little tune whilst I was doing this video okay so here are all the breaks I'm going to give you um, it'll take me a little bit of time because I've got to convert them to WAVs um, but Okay, so they've all been built with just the Nerve Drum Machine. And the idea is you stack them up. So some of those are kind of you've not got any of the um, any of the, the snares in there, or sorry, you've got the kick and the snare, but no hi hats. Um, so the idea is you you, know, you get to practice um, and, and build up your own your own sounds, and then you'll get a bit more confident. Um, let me just play you one more thing because uh, it's worth. So I haven't got time to show you how I pulled this together, um, but if you go to again to my uh, videos list and watch how I built the hat trick style break chopping, um, so this is a bit more of a classic way I think. It might not be perfect, but if you have a listen, I've basically got um, a break beat that I've chopped up, um, and then I'm triggering it by a MIDI. So let's have a look. You can see. I'm just like triggering little slices of it. So this is what you get. I'm not sure whether these settings are 100% perfect, but you see I've, I've put a big low pass on, or uh, yeah, I've, I've low passed this. So, no, 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 no. Um, I was getting mixed up. But basically, I've got rid of the low end frequencies and I've maybe added a little bit of sparkle to the top end. Um, and I've got rid of the low end frequencies. So that the reason why I've done that is now I can drop in a nice kind of hard kick and snare. Um, that's really simple um, then pattern that sits under the, the break bit. Okay, so that's just about exhausted my knowledge on drum and bass production. Um, so I think the, I'm, I'm sort of getting in the right direction, but what I need is some kind of proper guidance from somebody who like does this for a living or is you know pretty competent amateur and, and knows how to pull this stuff together. 
So I hope Tomek have given you some good advice. I know it was a bit rambly and possibly not as concise as it could be, um, but I hope it's been useful for you. Um, the couple of things that I would um, suggest that you look on my channel for are, um, let's have a look. Uh, da, 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 da. So the first thing is the sample pack that I did, because in that last tune, the um, the, the kick and the snare came from this sample pack. So if you're on Logic, then you can download this project and you can get that kind of the really you know, the hard kick and snare. Um, and then the other thing that I would suggest that you watch out of my videos is this video on it's called Hack Trick Style Breakbeat Chopping, um, and that will show you how I got to that. Um, it was like a, a one bar loop. And I just basically chopped it up and dropped it into EXS24. So these two tutorials show you how I did that. Um, so I hope that's useful. Um, PM me if there's any sort of outstanding questions. Um, and as I say, if you're watching this and you're not kind of the guy who asked the question, but you're somebody who's knowledgeable about drum and bass, it would be really appreciated if you can just post all your comments, tell us how to kind of EQ it and do the proper compression and the proper use of recycle. If you want to post a video response, that would be even better. Um, so thanks for listening um, and uh, hopefully that's useful and I'll see you on another video. Cheers.